Welcome to our Inventor 2024.1 JDI video series. Responding to community feedback and focusing on refining and polishing our product, we're thrilled to present the latest enhancements to our software. This release, we've rolled out 32 customer-driven updates in Inventor 2024.1, each demonstrating our dedication to continuous, incremental improvement. We invite you to join the conversation through the Inventor feedback community from the Idea Station and Inventor forums to the Ask the Developers segment at Autodesk University. Your insights are invaluable as we strive to shape the future of Inventor together. Provide the ability to disregard change and exit sketch without saving. The update brings the ability to disregard changes and exit a sketch without saving. This option, represented by a cancel sketch button, allows users to revert back to the original sketch without the need to undo a multitude of actions. A convenient dropdown is added to Finish Sketch, featuring Cancel Sketch when selected. A prompt will ask if users wish to discard all changes. This feature works for both 2D and 3D sketches across part, assembly, and drawing environments. Additionally, in the case of editing sketches via the breadcrumb feature, the Cancel Sketch option will terminate the feature edit. Importantly, all undone transactions will appear in the redo list, maintaining user control over changes. For the drawing mode, try cancel sketch function, which applies to title blocks, view sketches, sheet sketches, sketch symbols, and borders. Please note that the finished sketch remains as the default choice in the dropdown, with no programmatic API support for the cancel sketch function. The update also features a new cancel sketch icon and tooltip in the ribbon and context menu. When copying a sketch, the existing parameters should be referenced instead of creating new user parameters. We've introduced a significant improvement in sketch duplication workflows. Now, when you copy a sketch, the existing user parameters are referenced instead of creating new ones. An added option of paste with function in the context menu further simplifies this process. If a user parameter does not exist during pasting, Inventor will continue to create a new user parameter, maintaining the functionality you're accustomed to while offering some increased efficiency. This enhancement resolves the time-consuming task of reassigning user parameters to dimension in pasted sketches. Inventor now intelligently checks if the dimensions being pasted contain user parameters, and if they do, it offers to utilize those parameters rather than creating new ones. Provide an option to keep the sketch visible after using the plus button to create sweep. A new feature has been added to the sweep command. Now, users have the option to keep the sketch visible on, meaning that after using the plus button to create a sweep, the sketch remains visible. This eliminates the need for users to exit the command, re-enable the sketch visibility, and then continue with your work. This option is defaulted to off, but can be enabled to suit the user's preference. The update also ensures the selection option persists across the session, offering increased workflow efficiency. Please note that this feature is specific to the sweep command and does not affect the behavior of the extrude command. Get the origin work feature display name for mirror plane name and pattern direction access name. We've made some improvements to the user interface, specifically the display names of the origin work geometry shortcuts. This enhancement is part of our broader effort to make Inventor more up-to-date and customizable as you would expect. Previously, the shortcuts did not reflect the current display names of that geometry, which could cause confusion if you had renamed the origin work planes. This was particularly noticeable when using the mirror plane name in feature component mirror dialog and the pattern direction access name in feature component. Now, the system will get the origin work plane display name for mirror plane name in various dialogs such as derive part, derive assembly, make part, and make component. We've also resolved an issue with the origin plane buttons not functioning correctly in the feature component mirror dialog when the origin planes had custom names not containing XY, XZ, and YZ. Remember the Healing Remaining Faces option setting in the Delete Face panel. We've made an enhancement to the Delete Face tool. Now, the software remembers the state of the Heal Remaining Faces option based on your previous usage. 
If you check this box, the software will remember the setting the next time you use the tool. This includes cases where the dialog is cancelled, meaning the heal remaining faces option state will be preserved and remembered. Export geometry text with a save copy as for flat patterns. A noteworthy enhancement to the save copy as function for flat patterns. Now, geometry text such as the text Autodesk in the attached parts flat pattern will be exported when saving a copy as DXF DWG. This update ensures that all relevant information is carried over when exporting to DXF and DWG formats. Adding multiple participants for an assembly feature in one command session. We're enhancing the assembly feature by adding the ability for users to include multiple participants in a single command session. Previously, within the machining feature of a weldment, users could only add participants one at a time, which was time consuming. Now, changes to the add participant command allow for multiple selections, and we're supporting area select for add participant. To ensure system performance, the assembly computation will only occur after all participants have been added to the feature. We've also taken measures to prevent the selection of a component already in the participant list. In the context menu, we've added done escape at the three o'clock position, providing a simple way to terminate the command. Make pasted assembly components position where the user mouse selects, but not underneath paste. We've introduced a key enhancement to increase the efficiency of the assembly design process. Previously, when an assembly component was copied and pasted into the workspace, the pasted component positioned itself directly under the paste option in the right click menu. This often caused the pasted component to appear underneath another assembly component, making it difficult to locate and necessitating a rotation of the entire assembly to find the pasted part. Now, we've refined this process. The pasted assembly component will position itself exactly where the user originally left clicks in the Inventor Workspace window, not underneath the Paste option in the right-click menu. Make all the drop-down list content visible in Representation and File Open Options dialogs. We've improved the visibility of drop-down list content in both the Representation and File Open Options dialogs. Now, even if your model states, view representations, or positional representations have long names, they won't be cut off. This improves usability, making it easier for you to select the correct option. Double-click to edit assembly constraint. We've made it more intuitive to edit assembly constraints. Now, simply double-clicking a constraint, whether it's the browser icon or the glyph in the graphics, will launch the assembly constraint dialog for editing. This streamlines the process and echoes the behavior you're familiar with from editing features. Add eyedropper copy. We've added the eyedropper copy feature for finish features. This tool, represented by a cursor with a plus sign, allows you to select an existing finish from your scene or model browser. Once selected, the finish setting displays in the property panel. This feature operates at the same component level and generates a new parameter when a new finished feature is created. It's available for both creation and editing workflows. Note that it requires a valid finish.xml file to function. In cases where the chosen finish doesn't exist in the finish.xml file, a message box will alert you, suggesting you add the finish to the XML file or select another finish. Add an option, export all finished parameters. We've introduced a valuable new option for users, the ability to export all finished parameters. By activating this checkbox, users can now effortlessly set the export column of all finished parameters to on. One of the significant benefits of this update is the integration with the preset saving system. A tooltip has been introduced to further assist user function. Just select export all finished parameters. Based on your selection, the export option is either selected or not in the parameters dialog. Eye component support for finish feature parameters. This update introduces finish feature parameters support for eye components. This enables capturing these parameters within eye parts and eye assemblies, allowing for better design control and streamlined component management. Display only components with finished feature parameters in the source dropdown in the format text dialog. 
Inventor 2024.1 introduces an update that enhances the user interface for handling finished feature parameters. With this enhancement, the Format Text Dialog source dropdown will now only display components included in the finished feature parameters. This update is aimed to simplify your workflow by filtering out components that don't have these parameters, thereby avoiding excessively long lists. Provide the ability to delete the origin indicator. In our continuous effort to drive operational efficiency, we've introduced the ability to delete the origin indicator, a feature that enhances flexibility in the design process. All by simply right-clicking, users can find the delete command in the context menu. We've also implemented a warning dialog system. If the origin is referenced by any annotation or table, a warning dialog will prompt, ensuring you are informed about associated deletions. In addition, the delete keyboard shortcut has been added, further improving the ease of use. Provide the option to export the content only inside of Sheet Borders option when saving Inventor drawings as AutoCAD DWGs. Inventor 2024.1 introduces an enhancement that gives you more control when exporting Inventor drawings to AutoCAD DWG format. This update now includes an option that allows you to export only the content located inside the sheet borders. This feature is particularly useful when you have views and parts lists created outside the sheet borders, which is a common practice in Inventor drawings. Previously, everything on the sheet would be exported when saved as an AutoCAD DWG. Now, similar to the functionality when saving as a PDF, you can choose to exclude content outside the sheet borders when saving as an AutoCAD DWG offering more flexibility and precision in your export process. Improve exporting a generic table to Excel if the header contains illegal characters. This update introduces enhanced Excel export functionality for generic tables. If the table header contains characters that Excel does not allow in sheet names, the export process previously failed. With this update, the software validates the table name against the characters when you hit Save. If it detects an illegal character, it displays a warning dialog, just like it does for illegal file names. The table name remains editable, allowing you to correct it without closing the file Save dialog. To improve the user experience, the software automatically replaces these characters with an underscore during the export process. This ensures a smooth, error-free exporting experience. General Surface Profile Tolerance Browser node does not support edit command. We've improved the General Surface Profile Tolerance Browser node by integrating the edit command. This enhancement supports a smoother workflow. Double-clicking the GSPT Browser node now triggers the Profile Tolerance dialog for easy value editing. Also, an edit option has been added to the context menu for the GSPT Browser node. With these updates, any edits automatically update existing annotations, leading to a more consistent user experience aligned with other types of annotations. Move add vertex and delete vertex commands in the assembly environment. Now, the add vertex and delete vertex commands are conveniently located below the align to geometry commands in the right mouse click from SDS, LT, 3DA, and welding symbol 3DA commands. This alignment mirrors the setup found in the PAR environment, providing a consistent and more intuitive user experience across all environments. Support Finished Feature Browser Node in iLogic Editor A Finished Feature Browser Node has been added to the iLogic Rule Editor dialog. This positions finished features under the Relationship folder in the Model Browser, enhancing accessibility and the ease of use in your design workflow. Enable default bend radius in all tube and pipe styles. We've now enabled a default bend radius in all tube and pipe styles, making your design process smoother and more intuitive. The default value will be the current value, which means less manual adjustments and more time for you to focus on what truly matters. Support to pick circular edge as a connection point and access for custom elbow return bend authoring. Inventor now supports the selection of circular edges as connection points and axes for the authoring of custom elbow and return bend components. This functionality enhances the customization of such components, offering users more flexibility and precision in their designs. 
Once set, these settings are retained for future elbow and return bend authoring tasks, promoting consistency across projects. Provide the message to conduct users to define the type of custom elbows authoring. This update includes a new feature for users who are working with custom elbow authoring. Now, if you try to define an elbow with an angle that is neither 45 nor 90 degrees, Inventor will display a message informing you that only self-draining style elbows can have angles other than 45 or 90 degrees. This guidance will help streamline the custom elbow authoring process. Provide the ability to copy-paste custom eye properties from one file to another. We've introduced a much requested feature, the ability to copy and paste custom eye properties from one file to another. Whether you need to copy a single property or multiple properties using shift Control select we've got you covered. We've integrated this feature into the context menu for easy access and also supported standard shortcuts Control c and Control v for a seamless and fast user experience. We've also designed a custom clipboard format that specifically handles this custom property list control. If duplicates are found during the paste operation, a dialog will prompt with options to replace existing eye properties, keep existing ones, add and rename duplicates, or cancel the operation. The system will intelligently rename any duplicate property, ensuring your work remains organized and efficient. With export face as command, export mark edges to mark layers in DXF and DWG. This update enhances the export face as command to be better supported for DXF and DWG exports. Now, when you use this command, mark geometry is placed onto layers as defined by the mark style. The layer list is automatically generated without the need for manual customization. The improvement results in an export face as output locally closely resembling the flat pattern in save copy as command window output. The exported geometry will align more accurately with your mechanical design intentions. This change is applicable to both folded and regular parts. When you're exporting mark geometry on a planar face, it now gets exported to the front layer as defined by the mark style for that edge. This enhancement streamlines DXF and DWG exporting, saving designers time and improving the accuracy of exported data.